Carlsberg is a name most often associated with a best-selling beer from Denmark. So the obvious next step in brand expansion was to move into shaving and skincare products. Hipsters queue up at Carl's Barbershop in Copenhagen to have hops, yeast, and barley work their beautifying magic on their facial hair. Beard beauty, as the marketing campaign calls it. With a little bit of fantasy, it, 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 it smells like beer. I almost feel like, like tasting it. Definitely the best uh, smelling uh, foam I ever, I ever experienced. Carlsberg and beer, sure. But why male grooming products? Carlsberg started brewing in 1847 and is now one of the largest beer producers on earth. Cosmetics was not an obvious choice. Or was it? We have some quality ingredients in the beer that are natural and that can be conveyed into the cosmetics industry and have good benefits for the skin. It is more to convey some very good interesting story and taking the quality that you have in your beer product and applying that to another category. And in fact, it all seems pretty straightforward. Hops, barley and yeast usually used in brewing beer are freeze dried at the Carlsberg Laboratory in Copenhagen with the resulting powder then being combined with organic cosmetic essences. When a company branches into new markets, it's called brand extension or brand stretching. It's easier and cheaper to stretch a famous brand like Carlsberg than to create an entirely new brand. Virgin started out as a record store chain, but now runs an airline and financial services under the same logo. And from a little blue tin of skin cream, Nivea built a range spanning all manner of body care products. It's a phenomenon that marketing expert Hubertus von Lobenstein has been following for years. Among the companies he's analyzed is Apple and its success in computers, mobile phones and watches. The brand story they developed was viable enough to be transplanted to other segments. Apple never simply said, we're going to make computers. Apple said, we are the brand that supports people who think in new ways. But customers have discriminating tastes when it comes to food and beverage. Swiss company Maggi is a famous maker of noodles and instant soups, but its sweet ketchup was a commercial flop. Nivea toothpaste, likewise bombed. When fast food giant McDonald's decided to start its own hotel chain, the public found them unappetizing. One of the more predictable flops was motorcycle maker Harley Davidson's venture into children's clothing. Brand extensions always have their risks, of course. If I'm seriously far off the mark, that could impact on the parent brand too. It's entirely possible to destroy the original brand and its story with extensions. The Carlsberg marketing team had to find a way of getting the right message across. Until now, Carlsberg's brand story has essentially portrayed men mastering life's challenges with the help of all empowering beer. Beer producers reference lifestyle. If you drink this, you're a cool dude, you'll be a hit with the ladies. You have to transport the world the brand represents to make it believable. So it's a daring move because it's so out of left field. Whether the shaving products will go down as well as the brew will also depend on those ladies. We took a little survey on the streets of Copenhagen. Fancy a man with a beard smelling of beer? With a car spray in his face? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we all love that. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it's our favorite. The guy used to it, eh? Yeah, we used to it. Sexy in some way? Well, um, <laughs> not really, no. The morning after, can of beer, that's awful, but this is nice. You smell? But customers at Carl's Barbershop seem confident about the benefits of hops, barley and yeast. And surely they know best. <laughs> <laughs>